just so you know, there was no unboxing experience with this, and as you can see, I got two. I usually remember, but I don't know if I ever explained that I prefer to order hands as pairs. Maybe it's strange, I don't know. And actually, you've already seen these. This time I wanted to use them first before showing them to you and give what I feel was a more comprehensive review. So here they are. They're from a seller called Kwan Lifu and I got them on Amazon and I feel that they're the most realistic I've seen on Amazon because we know there's some private brands with nice ones too. Look at this already. I mean the details stand out immediately. That's what I noticed right away when I saw them on Amazon. So never mind that unboxing experience, right? So let's get more into this. Now I've seen and have hands with great detail, but the details are super fine, literally. Beyond the obvious crease lines in the palm, you can see every tiny attribute to the skin all the way down to the fingers. And, I mean, these hands have tendons. Look at the hyper-realistic knuckles and how they align with the tendons. I don't know whose hand was used for the mold, but wow. Even on the back hand, you can see every microscopic line in the skin. So, these are poseable, something we're all looking for, right? And let's take a look at the inserts. Nice and thick. I like that. So, you know it'll hold the nails really well. These are full hands, including the wrist, and there's some weight to them too. Something to consider when using a stand because each one does come with its own stand. So here's the connection for that. I can't get over how real they look, but they also look so feminine, don't you think? I think it's the long dainty fingers. I'm still trying to get over these tendons, knuckles, and skin detail. Oh, and the coloring to the skin. Let's not forget about that too. So back to the inserts, and I'm sorry for being out of frame, but you all know I be trying to really give you the close close. I feel some kind of way because I record with my phone and don't have a special camera, so this is the best way I know how. And you'll see I point out how far up the insert area goes, almost to that second knuckle. Then this is part of the stand, the arm. The stand comes in two parts, and one end fits to the hand, and the other end to the base of the stand. And this is one of those that gets secured to the table. This end looks like it's magnetic because it doesn't have, you know, those notches that clip to hold in place. I haven't used the stands. I've been using a hand rest. Yeah, that hold is super strong. Then the second part is to the base. So you see what I mean by it's one of those that gets latched to the table? And I didn't think to record this because I knew I wasn't going to use it. So I inserted a clip of how to use it. But this end goes on like this. The clamp opens by unscrewing the handle counterclockwise. And this straight handle makes it so easy to wind around. So it opens to look like a C-clamp. Place it onto the edge of your table, then wind the handle back clockwise until you get a sturdy hole. <laughs> yeah, I was so close in the camera. <laughs> now that I've used the hands, here's what I have to share. When it comes to the nail beds, they look small at unboxing, but as I use them, which is why I said I did that first, I use the same nails I do for all my other hands, and it really wasn't much of a difference. Plus, plus, you've seen them in the spring nails video, and I don't think the nails look noticeably different to you either. And I said nails because I did have someone notice the hand and DM me. So thank you. I was so excited that you asked because that was my trial run. So yeah, it didn't affect my product application. Also about the nail beds, some of you saw a video I did when I talked about how the nail beds are made like kind of closed in and how to open up the nail beds. I didn't do that with these hands. I chose to use them as is and it worked out fine. Then the mechanics. 
For me, I like firmer mechanics and what I mean is the wiring inside. This is softer so the fingers have more bounce to them and I don't want that. But I managed to resolve it by using a hand rest which keeps them more in place. And they have a great look posed. Also, I wanted to include a visual comparison so you could see how much more true to life they really are. This is going to shock you because it shocked me. My bougie nails on a budget model and this is Kiko. Oh my gosh, it looks sick. <laughs> and the one I use in videos, this is Keiko. And you know what, now that I see them side by side, there really is a huge difference, isn't it? Now there's one more small thing for me, and it is small. I'm not very fond of the gapping between the fingers. I feel like it's too wide. But in general, other than the issue with the firmness and gaps between the fingers, I do like these hands, especially for the more realistic look. And if you're interested in them, the link is in my description. You don't have to get both like I did. One hand was about $53, and they're so suitable for practice sessions and look great in pictures too. I hope you enjoyed this and it was helpful. Click the like button if you did, and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, and I can't wait to see you in the next one. Much love.